We welcome you back to Lincoln, Nebraska. We are at Tom Osborne Field and Memorial Stadium and a crowd that will be better than 76,000 by the time they announce the official attendance here today. Guys, we're going to do what we've done each week. With the, the four wins, we're going to take the ball. Well, it, it shouldn't change anything. You don't miss something to work. That's the thing we keep doing. You'll also hit your sign, hit Freddie on the way out, Freddie for courage, the sign, because we are Texas. We understand that. Don't mess with Texas. The other thing, three things to win this football game. Number one, you got to believe you're going to win. Yes, sir. That's really important. If you don't, stay in. Please. That's right. No yeah, place please for the beacon in the mile. Right. Please stay please. in, man. Now, if you're not going to fly around and get one this afternoon, this one's going to be a war. Get in. The second thing you got to do is you got to have fun doing it. If you don't have fun playing this game on this day, you ought to reevaluate. Yeah. Go do something else. And the third thing is you're going to win it in the fourth quarter. Hell yeah. You're going to win it in the fourth quarter, so don't watch that scoreboard. Don't worry about what happens. We're not going to play a perfect game, but we're going to play a hard fought game, and we want to put ourselves in the position to win in the fourth quarter, and we're going to win in the fourth quarter. And we're going to rock and roll for the next several hours. Here's the kick by Brown. Not too deep. Jones at the two-yard line. Cuts right at the 10-15. Out to the 20-25. Jones with speed. Brought down outside the 30, close to the 33-yard line. Brown and Williams offset. Double receivers left. Cavill in the slot. McGarity out wide. Major Applewhite gives it to Williams, and he is stuffed after a short gain. He got to the 34. Jay Foreman, the middle linebacker, got him there. Gain of two on first down. Backs are offset. Brown and Williams, double receivers left with Cavill in the slot. McGarity out wide. Applewhite, hands to Williams, coming left. He's got some room, cuts to the outside, breaks a tackle there, gets the 40, and then is driven out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Tight to the right is Derek Lewis. Backs in the eye behind Major Applewhite. Applewhite, quarterback sneaky, got it, but flags are down, and Texas moved early. Prior to the snap... Prior to the snap, there was a false start. And I think Mac Brown was saying that he thought the Nebraska players were encroaching a little bit. Third and a long five for Texas from their own 37. Applewhite with a long count. Major Applewhite looks to throw on third down. Roll to the right, steps up, throws. The ball is caught for the first down out to the 47-yard line. And that's a nice catch by Wayne McGarity as he slid inside the defender and picked up about 10 yards in the first down. Applewhite calls the play with the backs in the eye and a single receiver to either side. Toss sweep going right. Ricky Williams at the 50, 45, and he drags a tackler to the 40-yard line. They're going to mark him out of bounds at the 42. Nunez, the wide receiver to the right. Ricky Williams, the lone setback. Major Applewhite calls out the signals on first and 10. Applewhite hands to Williams, stuck at the line by Rucker. Kelsey was also there. That's going to be a loss of one, maybe two. Double receivers left. Cavill slot, McGarity wide. Split to the right is Ryan Nunez. Applewhite looks to throw, looking for Cavill. He's over the middle, he's got it at the 35. Brought down very close to the first down around the 33-yard line, making the play Mike Brown, the junior. Major Applewhite's hurt. He really took a shot, and he's hobbling, and I, I'm not sure if he's ready to go. He's looking over there. I think he's going to be all right, but he is really favoring the left leg. He took a hard hit by Jason Wilkes, and when he went down, he gets up. Third down and one for Texas at the Nebraska 33-yard line. Backs are in the eye, single receiver to either side. Pitch out, Williams looking for the first down, has it as he lunges to the 31-yard line, brought down by Kelsey and also uh, Lauren Kaiser. The first offensive possession for the Horns. Williams goes in motion to the right. Brown the lone setback, double receivers left. Applewhite looking right for Williams. Pump fake, and now he's going to throw to Williams on a give and go, and he went too far as Williams cut off the pattern of the 20-yard line. Pass is incomplete. Single receiver either side, McGarry to the right, Cavill to the left. Brown and Williams in the I formation. Brown goes in motion, handoff Williams up the middle, not much. The ball came loose, and at the 32-yard line, Nebraska says they've recovered the ball. Ricky Williams fumbled the ball, and the ball will stay with Texas, but... The line of scrimmage will be the 32. Now the Huskers are saying they've got it, but the referee, Hal Dowden, says no, it is Texas ball. Brian White in for the first time. Wide to the left with Cavill in the slot left. Nunez slot right, McGarity wide right. Now Nunez comes in motion to the left, and the officials blow the whistles. No flags, but the they do stop playing. Nebraska has taken a timeout. Third down and 11. Double receivers right, double receivers left. 
Cavill and White to the left, Nunez and McGarry to the right. And now Nunez goes in motion to the left. Out of the shotgun formation, Major Appelot looking to throw. Here comes the blitz. He's throwing deep to the end zone. He's got a man. The ball is knocked away incomplete. And their flag comes out. The defensive back knocked it away from the antenna receiver, Wayne McGarity. And I believe we're going to see a pass interference call here. Pass interference. Against the defense. 15 on penalty. All the from Brown and Sweeney will pick up Cavill slot left backs off set draw play Williams up the middle spins for one yard to the 16 yard line Jason Wilts is there Cavill slot left McGarity wide left backs are split behind Applewhite Applewhite looking to pass lost one of the end zone wide open tight end Derek Lewis touchdown he was left alone for the touchdown the Longhorns gain a six nothing lead Plenty of protection there for Major Applewhite and then the man who broke the hearts of Husker fans two years ago, Derek Lewis, when he caught the pass and went 61 yards down to the Husker 11 to help Texas wrap up the victory in the Big 12 championship, makes the grab there for the score and what an impressive drive for the Longhorns to start this game. A 16-yard scoring strike from Major Applewhite to Derek Lewis. Extra point on the way is up and good by Stockton. Timeout on the field with 9.36 to go first quarter. Here's the kick from Stockton. It will be taken by Walker at the one-yard line. Up the right hash mark to the 15 and cuts outside, falls to the 21-yard line. McAvicka, Lance Brown, and here's uh, right up the middle, not much room at all, one yard. Single receiver either side. Handoff up the middle. Buck Hall, a big run, and he gets outside the 30 and probably has the first down out to the 31 yard line. Handoff, McAvicka, sidesteps a tackle, gets outside the 35 to about the 36 yard line. Billy Hafke is wide right. Buck Hall to the lone setback. Another trap play, Buck Halter off left tackle, spins forward, close to the first down. He get out to about the 39 yard line, it'll be about a yard and a half shy. Monte Cristo, option play to the right. He will try to turn and he does not have the first down. He got to the 40 and that is all. Anthony Hicks was there along with Dusty Renfro and back deep to receive the punt of course is Hodges Mitchell. Mitchell waits for the punt at the 20 yard line. Here's LaFleur's punt. Oh, it's a beauty. Mitchell will just let it go on behind him. It hits at the five. Takes a nice sideways Nebraska roll and will be down inside the 10-yard line. Texas is going to have to start inside the 10. Backs are offset behind the quarterback. The Nebraska fans are making a lot of noise, trying to make it difficult for Major Applewhite. Ricky Brown goes in motion. Single receiver to either side from his own eight-yard line. Ricky Williams off left tackle, gets outside the 10 to about the 12. Clint Finley, the hard-hitting sophomore safety from Cuero, Texas, made the tackle. McGarity is to the right, and Cavill is to the left, and the backs are offset. Now Cavill goes in motion to the right, faking the toss sweep, and now McGarity, or uh, Applewhite, rather. And he stumbles and falls. It's going to be a loss in the play as Jason Wilkes got through. Cavill wide left. McGarity wide right, backs are split wide behind Major Applewhite. Applewhite draw play, Ricky Williams hit shortly after he got it. He squirms forward to the 11 for a gain of three. Joe Walker, a very tough return man, is at midfield. Here's the punt by Stockton. High hanging punt. Good job by Stockton. Walker at his own 44. Starts to the right, and then he is ridden to the turf by Greg Brown. Good job on special teams by Brown, as he only got it out to the 47-yard line. It is first and 10 for Nebraska at their own 47-yard line. Buckhalter, the tailback. Fumble on the snap, and Buckhalter jumps on top of it and recovers just before McAllen got there. There will be a loss back to the 46-yard line. Monte Cristo fumbled the snap that time, but his teammates were there to recover for him. Shevin Wiggins goes in motion to the left. Rolling to the left and looking to throw. Crisco throws downfield. The ball is caught in Texas territory at the 49-yard line by Wiggins. Single receiver to either side with the backs in the eye. Lance Brown goes in motion. Rolling to the left and looking to throw. Crisco under some pressure. He is set. The ball comes loose. They're going to rule him down. Anthony Hicks with the sack. Back at the 43-yard line. Big play by the Texas linebacker. A great punt the first time around by Bill LaFleur. 
He'll punt it away to Hodges Mitchell, who waits at the 15-yard line. Another booming spiral. Mitchell will field it at the 10, and right there he calls the fair catch. Ronnie Cavill wide to the left. Wayne McGarrity wide right. Brown and Williams off set behind Applewhite from his own 11-yard line. First and 10. Pitch out. Coming left. Williams, good block. He's at the 20, 25, 30. Ricky Williams up the left sideline at the 40, and he's out close to midfield before he's finally brought down by Mike Brown and Clint Finley. A 38-yard run by Ricky Williams. Well, there's tremendous blocking out on the wing there, and Ricky Williams had all kinds of running room. Ricky Brown lays the big block to get him going, and as Brown went out front, he just got in the way of one would-be tackler. That was Tony Ortiz, and that sprung Ricky Williams. And he had the angle on Finley and went right down the left sideline. Backs her in the eye. Applewhite calls out the play. Brown turns around and tells the play to Williams. Double receivers right. Hand off Williams at left tackle. Not much that time. Maybe a yard. Tony Ortiz and Mike Rucker combine on the tackle. Second down and a long eight. Pitch out. Ricky Williams trying to read his blocks. Cuts to the outside. He's at the 45, the 40, and bumped out of bounds right at the 40-yard line by Mike Brown. Back split, quarterback sneak, Applewhite on second effort. I think he got the first down. If they give him the 39-yard line, and they will, Ricky Williams, the lone setback, first and 10 for Texas. Applewhite, five-step drop, good protection. Steps up across the middle, complete at the 30, the 25, and Cavill is pulled down to the 23-yard line. Inside 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Ryan Nunez goes in motion to the left. Brian White out wide to the left. Applewhite looks right to throw. Throwing for the end zone for Lewis, incomplete, but there's a flag, and they got Ortiz. Nebraska fans unhappy. Oh, they're going to call offense. Offensive pass interference on Derek Lewis, shoving off on Ortiz. Pass interference against the offense. We have 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. We play first down. 17 seconds to go in the first quarter. Bats are offset. Ryan Nunez goes in motion, left to right. Pitch out. Ricky Williams looking for a block. Tries to cut outside. Turns the corner at the 35. Ortiz knocks him out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Tight left is Derek Lewis. Williams goes in motion to the left. Applewhite throws a little wide receiver screen, but before he can throw the pass, the flags are down. Prior to the snap, ball start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Tight to the right is Lewis. Cavill wide right. McGarrity split left. Backs off, set behind Applewhite. Now early movement and contact, and I think that Lauren Kaiser jumped early, and this should give Texas five yards back unless Texas moved early. Prior to the snap, offside on the defense. Five-yard penalty, still second down. Now it is second down and 20 for Texas. Cavill is the wide receiver to the right. Split left McGarrity. Ricky Brown goes in motion to the right. Major Applewhite to throw, looking left, throwing left. The ball is complete to McGarrity at the 20, and he is tackled right there by Ralph Brown. Cavill to the right, McGarrity to the left. Now Brown goes in motion to the right. Major Applewhite back in the pocket, looking right, throwing to the end zone. The pass is incomplete, too far, intended for Cavill. Good coverage on the play over there by the Cornhuskers. Chris Stockton so far this year, seven out of nine. This is a 36-yarder from the left hash mark. The holder is Brian White. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And the kick from Chris Docton is good. And the Longhorns now lead it 10-0. Joe Walker and Shevin Wiggins are back deep to receive the Chris Docton kickoff. 10-0 Longhorns early second quarter. Here's the kick by Stockton. High and deep. Walker about seven yards deep. will have to go to a knee. Double receivers left. Single receiver to the right. Now Cheatham goes in motion to the left. Faking the handoff is Christo. Looking downfield, he's got a man wide open. Wiggins at the 40, 45, 50. And brought down by McCowan and Jammer at the 44-yard line. Stack eye look now behind Monte Cristo. With Makovica, Brown, and Buckhalter. Fumble the snap, and Brown picks it up right there at the 45-yard line. That's the second time Monte Cristo has fumbled a snap here this afternoon. 
quarterback draw. Monte Cristo will run, and he goes off right tackle, gets inside the 40 to the 39, where he's picked up about seven yards. 0 for 2 on third down conversions for the Huskers. Wiggins slot left, Cheatham wide left. There's two receivers to the right. Cristo works out of the shotgun formation. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. They throw it across the middle. Complete to Sheldon Jackson. He's driven back. I think he's about a half a yard shy of the first down. A stack eye look behind Cristo on fourth and less than a yard. And Cristo has the quarterback sneak and has the first down. Backs in the eye behind the quarterback, Bobby Cristo. Cristo fakes the handoff, rolls to the right, looking downfield. Throws to the sideline. The ball is caught by Sheldon Jackson, and he's driven out of bounds at the 19-yard line. At the 19-yard line of Texas, deepest penetration by Nebraska. It is first and 10 for the Cornhuskers. They trail 10-0. Handoff up the middle, Makavica, a couple of yards, a couple of Longhorns there defensively, including Anthony Hicks, the outside linebacker. Makavica and Buckhalter are the running backs. Handoff to Buckhalter, and he is stuffed at the line by Anthony Hicks once again. He is 7 for 11, as long of 48. High snap, good hold. The kick is up. It's got plenty of distance, and it is no good. It is wide to the left. You don't see Chris Brown miss those very often, but he did at the 20-yard line. 10-0 Texas, 10.36 to go in the second quarter. Pitch out to Ricky Williams, nowhere to go. He's going to lose two yards. Double receivers to the right. That's the short side of the field. And now Ricky Williams goes in motion to the left. Major Applewhite to pass across the middle. Complete outside the 30 or outside the 25, close to the 30-yard line. Ricky Brown makes the catch. Single receiver to either side. Hand off to Williams up the middle, and I don't know if he got it. It's very, very close. He lunged forward to the 30. I don't think Matt Brown's going to go for it here. I doubt it. <laughs> Walker back deep now, and here's the punt by Stockton. End over end. Walker at the 36, cuts to the right at the 40, and brought down at the 42-yard line. Hodges Mitchell there on special teams for Texas. The backs are in the eye. Makavica and Buckhalter. And Crouch turns around to give the play to his running backs. Crouch fakes the handoff, option play left, pitches it out. Buckhalter breaks the tackle by McCowan, runs into Dusty Renfro right at the 39-yard line. Good pursuit by the Texas defense. Double wide receivers to the right with the backs in the eye. Crouch straight back to throw across the middle. The ball is complete to Wiggins outside the 45. Quinton Jammer makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. From his own 47, Eric Crouch, option play right, pitches it out to Buckhalter, and he is stopped by Cedric Woodard, well short of the first down, around the 49-yard line. Anthony Hicks hit him first, and then that slowed him down, and Cedric Woodard caught up to him. Good job by Hicks, and then Woodard. Bill LaFleur has been averaging just under 50 yards per punt here this afternoon. He'll hit this one at his own 40-yard line. High hanging punt, fair catch called for by Hodges Mitchell right at the 10 yard line and the Longhorns left to start at their own 10. 4.5 on the hang time and a 41 yard punt, a very effective punt by Bill LaFleur. Octavius push up the tackle to the right, backs in the eye behind Applewhite. Cavill to the right, McGarrity to the left, hand off Ricky Williams, twist for about four. The backs are Brown and Williams in the eye formation behind Major Applewhite. Now Cavill goes in motion, looking to the right as he's throwing. Applewhite looking for Cavill, way out at the 40-yard line. An acrobatic catch by Kwame Cavill, and he beats Sweeney, and he's brought down at the 49-yard line in Nebraska territory, a 37-yard gain. Major Applewhite hanging the ball up there, and Kwame Cavill using his size and his speed and great hands to run under the ball, taking advantage of the covers. They have picked on Erwin Sweeney. Bill, you said they might try to do that here in the game, and they have done it here in the first half. Applewhite calls first and 10 at the Nebraska 49. Applewhite five-step drop across the middle, complete, and driven back at the 45-yard line. Ricky Brown is the fullback. Ricky Williams is the tailback. They do mark it inside the 44, closer to the 43-yard line. Backs offset. Hand off to Williams. Running behind his big offensive line. Spins forward close to the 40-yard line. Jay Foreman, the middle linebacker, has got him wrapped up there, and he'll be just shy of the first down. He'll need another yard and a half. Third down and a long one for Texas at the 41 of Nebraska. Applewhite hands it off to Ricky Williams, stuffed by Foreman, no game. He gets a good snap, gets the punt away, high. 
Hanging punt at the five-yard line. Bounces straight up in the air, and Texas down there to down it inside the five-yard line. A good special teams play for the Longhorns. Greg Brown down there to down the 39-yard punt. There are three running backs in the I formation behind Crouch. Option play left, he cuts up with room outside the 10. 15, 20, all the way out to the 20 yard line. Woody will chase them down from behind, an 18 yard pickup out to the 20, and that gets Nebraska out of harm's way. Lone setback is Buckhalter. Play action fake, Crouch will throw, pump fake, throwing deep. Down the right sideline, too far, incomplete. Two wide receivers to the left. Second down and 10 from their own 19 for Nebraska. Crouch will throw across the middle. The ball is tipped and almost intercepted. Personal foul against the defense. Hands to the face. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Cedric Woodard. Yep, that's the type of penalty that the Longhorns have been avoiding so far. And he really didn't need to even go through with the follow-through. He hit him in the face. Double receivers to the left and a single setback for Eric Crouch. The freshman quarterback from Omaha. Option play to the right. He will keep. He's got room 40. 45 and swung out of bounds by Quentin Jammer out at the 49-yard line, and that stops the clock with 2.29 to go, a gain of 15 on the play. Backs in the eye behind the quarterback, Eric Crouch. Crouch gives the buck halter. Off left end, cuts it up, runs into Donald McCowan, and gets to the 48-yard line. And also there to help out was Jermaine Anderson. And uh, they'll move his forward progress at the 47-yard line. But some confusion on the part of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Jackson was in the game, and now he will come out. And they had too many men in the field and too many men on the huddle. This will cost Nebraska five yards for an illegal substitution. Yeah, uh, you saw Kenny Cheatham just throw his arms up in the air. Prior to the snap, illegal substitution against the offense. We have five-yard penalty, still second down. So now it is second down and 11. Backs are in the eye, double receivers to the left, the short side of the field, play action, fake Crouch, under some pressure, he is set, back at the 45-yard line. Dusty Renfro fired up as he makes the play. Eric Crouch will work out of the shotgun formation from his own 45-yard line. He dumps a little screen pass that is complete to Buckholder with room at the 50. 45-40 brought down by DeAndre Lewis, and he's got the first down at the 40-yard line. First and 10 for Nebraska with the clock running inside a minute to go out of the shotgun. Crouch will throw. Sets up, throws right. The ball is caught by Davison, and he's driven out of bounds to stop the clock at the 33-yard line. Tony Holmes on the coverage. Double wide receivers to either side. Crouch working out of the shotgun formation. Crouch now will run himself, and he will be stuffed after a short gain at the 30-yard line. Close to the first down, DeAndre Lewis brought him down. They'll stretch out the chains, and Nebraska has the first down. Double wide receivers to either side for Nebraska. Clock is running now with 30 seconds to go. Out of the shotgun, Eric Crouch. Here comes the blitz. Crouch rolls to the left, now rolls back to the right. He's got room. He's at the 25, the 20, the 15, and Donald McCallum brings him down at the, about the 13-yard line. Wiggins and Davison to the right. Jackson and Cheatham to the left. Out of the shotgun, first and 10 from the 11 for Eric Crouch. Crouch will throw. Here comes the blitz. He's trying to roll away, and he's set back at the 24-yard line. Sean Rogers got through. Clock still running. They'll finally stop the clock and call their final timeout with 10 seconds to go. What a huge play by Sean Rogers. Double receivers either side from the 25-yard line. Just 10 seconds to go. No timeouts left for the Marasco Cornhuskers. Crouch will throw to the end zone, looking for a man. The ball is incomplete. Now they're going to throw a flag on Tony Holmes with four seconds to go. Pass interference. Missed the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Good snap, good hold. The kick's got plenty of distance, and it is good. That's the final play of the first half, so Nebraska scores its first points on the final play of the half. We're at the half, and it's 10-3. Texas over Nebraska. Longhorns will have to go into the win in the fourth quarter, and we do expect to see some rain before the end of the game. Here's the kick high, not too deep with this win. Walker at the six-yard line, right up the gut at the 20-25, tripped up as he got to the 25-yard line, and he'll start just outside the 25. It is Eric Crouch at quarterback. Makovica is the fullback. Buckhalter is the tailback. 
Davison is the single receiver to the right. Handoff up the middle, now it's a fake play, and it's Crouch still with the ball, and he lunges forward past the 34-yard line. McAvicka, the fullback, Buckhalter, the tailback in the I formation. Single receiver to the left and to the right. Crouch, option play right, dives for the first down outside the 35-yard line. Brought down by DeAndre Lewis, but that should be enough for the first down. Backs are in the I formation behind Eric Crouch. McAvicka and Buckhalter pitch out now he's going to fake the pitch out and he's going to try to run but he is sacked back at the 31 yard line by Aaron Humphrey yeah he got away from the first man but Aaron Humphrey would not be denied that time and the Longhorns had excellent penetration coming in and that's what they wanted to get past that offensive line Casey Hampton had a shot at him couldn't get him Aaron Humphrey did single setback wide receiver either side Crouch, play action, fake will throw. Looking right, throwing right. The ball is complete at the 42-yard line to Lance Brown, driven out of bounds at the 42. Double receivers left, single receiver right, backs in the eye. This is what Texas defensive coordinator Carl Reese calls the Tennessee formation. Crouch to throw across the middle. The ball is incomplete. The pass was intended for Shevin Wiggins and was broken up by Quinton Jammer, the safety. It's punting time for the Huskers. He'll punt into the wind. Mitchell back at the 15-yard line. The wind knocks this punt down. It will hit at the 28. Take a nice Nebraska roll, however, on the carpet. Inside the 10-yard line, it will be down around the 8-yard line, maybe even the 7 by the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Kwame Cavill slot right. Wayne McGarity wide right. The noise is deafening right now. Backs off set behind Applewhite. Applewhite gets the snap, turns, hands to Ricky Williams. He is stuck shy of the 10-yard line. Cavill slot right. McGarity out wide. Ricky Brown and Ricky Williams offset. Applewhite calling second down. Looking to throw. Steps up, throws right for Cavill. The ball is incomplete. And Cavill took it away from the defensive back, Ralph Brown, who almost had an interception at the 32-yard line. Nunez slot left. McGarity wide left. Applewhite to throw. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. Throwing left. The ball is incomplete. Ralph Brown knocked it away from Wayne McGarry at the 20-yard line. And Texas has to punt it away. So far today, he's averaging 39 yards per punt. Here's the punt by Stockton. Got it up in the air. High punt. Fielded by one of the upmen at the 38-yard line. And then he ran with it after he fielded the ball. Interference with the opportunity to make a fair catch. Just the kicking thing. Five-yard penalty, first down. Well, the Nebraska coaches were really giving it to the officials. Greg Brown was a little too close to Ralph Brown. And McAvicka and Buckhalter in the I formation. Eric Crouch, the quarterback, gives to Buckhalter the tailback. Off right tackle, spins for a couple to the 28. Double receivers to the left. Ball's on the right hash. Give it to the fullback, McAvicka. Greeted there by Casey Hampton right at the line of scrimmage and driven back. Good job by the sophomore defensive tackle from Galveston. Single setback is Buckhalter. Eric Crouch, straight back to throw. Looking right, throwing right. Ball is knocked away and almost intercepted by DeAndre Lewis. This will be a 47-yard attempt out of the hold of Crouch in the middle of the field. The kick by Brown's got plenty of distance, and it is good. It is 10-6 Longhorns over the Huskers with 10.53 to go in the third quarter. Here's the kick. Fielded at the five-yard line by Hodges Mitchell. Quickly out to the 15-20. Mitchell breaks a tackle at the 25. He is brought down at the 26-yard line. Backs are offset. Brown and Williams. Major Applewhite calls first and 10. Ricky Brown goes in motion to the left. Quick drop by Applewhite. Looking to throw across the middle. Diving catch at the 38-yard line. It is complete. That's a good catch by Wayne McGarity. They're going to mark him at the 37. Wayne McGarity did a good job of turning inside of Sweeney. Major Applewhite had time to throw, and McGarity did make the right catch. He pulled it in. Applewhite gives instructions to Derek Lewis, tells him to go off to the right side. Applewhite turns, hands it to Ricky Williams, up the middle, 40, 45, 50, drags a couple of tacklers into Nebraska territory at the 48-yard line. Foreman and Johnson hanging on for dear life as Ricky Williams broke it up the middle for 15 yards and almost broke it all the way.
Double receivers left. Cavill in the slot. McGarity out wide. Nunez wide to the right. Looking to throw. Applewhite. Looking right. Throwing right. The ball is knocked away. Did he catch it? The rule incomplete. Good coverage on uh, Nunez by Sweeney at the 40-yard line. Derek Lewis is tight right. Major Applewhite calls second and ten. Applewhite gives to Williams off left tackle. A little bit of room as he finds a seam inside the 45 down to the 43-yard line. Five. Williams goes in motion to the left, double receivers to the right for Applewhite. Applewhite looks to pass, inside screen pass is knocked away, incomplete. Intended for Wayne McGarity, and it will be fourth down. Ralph Brown was there on the cover. It is now fourth down and five, and Chris Stockton will hit this punt around his own 45-yard line. Wiggins is back deep to receive the punt at the 10. Good protection, Stockton gets it high in the air. Wiggins will let it hit at the 10. It takes a good Nebraska bounce backwards, and it's killed by Texas out near the 20 by Greg Brown. 8.44 to go in the third quarter. Eric Crouch hands it to his tailback, and he's got no room to go. No room at all as Cedric Woodard is there to meet Alexander for a loss. With Brown in the slot, Alexander the lone setback. Hafke is out wide to the right. Option play right. Now the pitch out. Comes to Alexander, 20, 25, and he is tied up there as he is flipped over by uh, Quentin Jammer, the safety who made the tackle at the 25, and he got outside the 25 to the 26. Big third down again for Nebraska. Third down and about four. They need the 30. They're at the 26. Backs are in the eye. Rolling to the right is Crouch, looking to throw. Throws downfield at the sideline, incomplete. They roll it incomplete at the 40-yard line. The ball was caught by Kenny Cheatham, but he did not keep his foot in bounds, according to the official who got a good look at it. Hodges Mitchell back deep at his 32. Line drive punt. Mitchell might have a chance to return this one. He's at the 26, gets out to the 30, and then is snowed under right at the 30-yard line. So only a four-yard return after the 48-yard punt. Texas starts at the 30. Double wide receivers to the right. Ricky Brown is out wide. Ricky Williams the lone setback. Cavillas in the slot right, McGarity wide left, handoff Williams, not much there. He got two yards, Rucker ran him down. Second and eight from the 32, Longhorns in their own territory. Applewhite fakes the draw play, he will throw, he's hit as he throws incomplete. Pass intended for Ricky Williams. He was hit just as he released the football by Chad Kelsey. Four wide receiver set for Texas. McGarity is wide to the left, White is wide to the right. Cavill and Nunez are the slot receivers. Out of the shotgun, Applewhite. Getting some pressure, he is sacked by Foreman. Back of the 21 yard line. Joe Walker's at his own 40 yard line. Chris Stockton will hit this punt around his own 12. Stockton gets the punt away, high hanging punt. And it will be taken by Brown at the sideline. He bobbled it out of bounds and Nebraska will start inside Texas territory around the 48. Makovica is the fullback. Buckhalter back in at tailback. Alexander had been the tailback in the last series. Option play, keeping it is Crouch. He gets inside the 45, down to about the 43-yard line. At the 42, gain of seven, second down and three for Nebraska in Texas territory. Crouch again fakes the handoff to Makovica, then keeps, goes off right tackle, and he's close to the first down. They're just inside the 40-yard line. They'll go with a stack eye look, the power eye. Miller now in at fullback along with Makovica. Keeping it as Crouch and he should have enough for the first down as he lunges forward past the 39 yard line. Stack eye behind the quarterback. Eric Crouch. Crouch fakes to Miller. Option play left. Jermaine Anderson missed him but Anthony Hicks hits him. Anthony Hicks is having a whale of a ball game for the Longhorns. A very short gain on the play for Eric Crouch. Buckhoff through the tailback. Single receiver either side. Crouch. Fakes to Makovica now will keep, and he's got room, 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Eric Crouch, a 37-yard touchdown run. Looking for a three-point lead, Chris Brown. It is up, and it is good. Timeout on the field with three minutes and 28 seconds to go in the third quarter. That scoring drive for Nebraska, five plays, 49 yards, all Eric Crouch, a 37-yard touchdown run by the freshman quarterback. Here's the kickoff, high and short. Hodges Mitchell on the run at the 15. 
20, cuts left 25, and then runs into some red shirts at the 27-yard line. And Texas will start first and 10 at the 20. At the 27-yard line, Texas starts first and 10 in their own territory. Cavill to the left, McGarity to the right. Backs are off, set behind Applewhite, handoff Ricky Williams, not one. Nowhere to go. Backs in the eye behind Applewhite. Backs offset now as Brown shifts to the right. Now Cavill goes in motion. Looking to throw Applewhite. Applewhite looking to the right. Flags are all over the place. Deep ball. Incomplete. Ricky Brown dropped it at the 50-yard line. But I got a feeling this would come back anyway because there are flags down. Won't matter anyway. It's holding against Texas. Second down and 28 for Texas from their own nine-yard line. Backs offset, Cavill goes in motion right to left. Draw play to Ricky Williams trying to run wide, and he won't be able to do it. Three jerseys there, three red jerseys, including Mike Brown and Julius Jackson. Mike Brown ran him out of bounds. Texas goes with four wide receivers, Brian White and Kwame Cavill to the right. Wayne McGarry and Ryan Nunez to the left. Applewhite out of the shotgun formation from his own 10-yard line on third and very long. Here comes the blitz. Applewhite steps up and throws the interception at the 29-yard line, 20, 15, and driven out of bounds. It is Ralph Brown with the interception and the return of 16 yards. It is first and 10 for the Cornhuskers. They lead 13 to 10. They have dominated the third quarter. Backs are in the eye behind Crouch. Give it to the tailback, Buckhalter. Barrels forward for a few inside the 10 to about the 8-yard line, maybe the 7. Stack eye look behind Crouch. And now going in motion to the left is Brown. Hand off to Makovica. Stopped by Rogers and company at about the 7, a gain of 1. Good play by Sean Rogers, the defensive tackle. Casey Hampton also there for Texas. Crouch keeps to the left. He'll try to run. Hick stops him. Fumble. The ball's picked up by McCowan. The Longhorns have recovered, a huge turnover as the Texas Longhorns recover the fumble inside the 10-yard line. Crouch on the option, faked the fullback dive, and as he sipped outside trying to turn it upfield and looked like he was covering up, but Anthony Hicks just rips the ball out as he popped him hard. Hicks continues to have a stellar game today. At the 8-yard line, it is first and 10. Handoff Williams up the middle, 10. 15 and he is brought down at the 19 yard line by Mike Brown and Mike Brown paid for making that tackle on Ricky Williams. Pitch out to Williams. He's going to throw the ball. Ricky Williams looking downfield. The ball is incomplete. Well underthrown. Intended for Kwame Cavill. Mike Brown was there on the coverage. But Nebraska, give credit to the Nebraska secondary. They were there and smelled out that play. McGarity to the left. Cavill to the right. Lewis is tight right. Backs off. Set behind Applewhite. Cavill goes in motion to the left. Applewhite looking to pass. On second down across the middle. The ball is low and ruled incomplete. Third down and 10 for Texas from their own 19-yard line. Four wide receivers for the Horns. Applewhite out of the shotgun. Looks to throw deep down the right sideline. He has Brian White at the 45 to 50. Brian White down the right sideline. He's at the 10. He's at the 5, and he's knocked out of bounds inside the 5-yard line. What a throw by Major Applewhite, and Brian White was wide open down the right sideline. He picks up 76 yards. How does that happen? How does Brian White get that wide open? And then credit Major Applewhite for finding him and delivering the football. And Brian White manages to take Texas deep into the Nebraska, into the field, going into the final quarter. First and goal for Texas. McGarry wide right, Cavill wide left. Cavill goes in motion, backs are offset. Handoff Williams up the middle, running hard. He is inside the three. Backs are offset, Brown and Williams behind Applewhite. Handoff Williams, and he is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go. McGarity to the right, double receivers left with Brown out wide and Cavill in the slot. Lone setback Williams. Major Applewhite looking to pass, looking right, throwing right, incomplete. Intended for McGarity, he thought he was held up on the play. It is fourth down, and the field goal unit will come on. 
on to attempt the short field goal of 20 yards from right in the middle of the field. Just to the right of center is Chris Stockton. This would tie the game with 13.41 left. The holder is Brian White. The kick is up, and the kick from Stockton is good. There's a timeout on the field. We are tied at 13 with 13.38 to go in the game. Here's the kick. It is high and short. And on the run, Walker lets it hit off of him and out of bounds. And let's see if he touched it. Yeah, he did. It's a stack eye look behind Crouch. And now it is McAvicka who goes in motion. Hand off to the tailback. Alexander breaks one tackle, spins forward. He's outside the 25. He's out to the 30. He's picked up 12 yards and a first down. First and 10 for Nebraska at the 30-yard line. McAvicka and Alexander are in the I formation behind Crouch. Option play left. Crouch will keep. And he has about four, maybe five yards. Let's call it a gain of four. We are tied at 13. Again, the stack eye look, and McAvicka goes in motion to the right. Hand off to the tailback. Alexander hit at the line. Good play. He'll fall forward for a couple of yards. But that's a good defensive play by the Texas linebacker, DeAndre Lewis. Third down and about four for the Huskers. They need the 40-yard line. Alexander is the lone setback. They've got double wide receivers on either side. A long count by Crouch. He will throw for it. Looking right, throwing right. The ball is completed to 40 to Sheldon Jackson, and he's ridden out of bounds at the 44-yard line at the 45 at his first and 10 for Nebraska. Faking the handoff is Crouch, and then he is hit as he gets past the 50-yard line by the free safety, Quinton Jammer. Second down and about two for Nebraska at the 47 of Texas. McAvick of the fullback, Alexander the tailback. Crouch will keep. Not Actually, the ball came out at the 50-yard line, and Casey Hampton was there. Backs are in the eye behind the quarterback, Crouch. Crouch pitches it out to his tailback, and he's got the first down. Inside the 40, breaks the tackle, 35. And finally, Anthony Hicks makes the tackle down around the 30-yard line. McAvicka and Alexander. Handoff McAvicka, not there. One yard, that's about it, to the 29-yard line. Second down and about nine. From just inside the 30-yard line. Eric Crouch, the quarterback, pitches it out to his tailback, Alexander, off right tackle, falls forward for about four, maybe five. Double tight end. Eye formation with McAvicka and Alexander. Now Wiggins goes in motion to the left. Crouch fakes the handoff, rolls to the left. He's going to throw downfield, looking for the tight end. Incomplete. He had Wister wide open, and they overshot him at the five-yard line. This will be a 42-yard field goal attempt for Chris Brown out of the hold of Eric Crouch. The ball is on the right hash mark. Good snap, good hold. The kick from Brown's got plenty of distance, and it is good. Nebraska regains the lead. Hodges Mitchell back deep to receive the Chris Brown kickoff. Here's the kick by Brown. He got his foot into it. End over end. Hodges Mitchell at the goal line, one yard deep. Now he will take it out. Angles right, and he is hit at the 15-yard line. 16-13 Nebraska. First and 10 for Texas at their own 15-yard line. Backs are split behind Applewhite. Hand it off. Coming left, Ricky Williams trying to read his blocks. Is brought down by Mike Brown after a short gain. Second down and seven for the Longhorns from their own 18-yard line. Double wide receivers to the right with Cavill in the slot. Brown and Williams are split behind the quarterback, Major Applewhite. Applewhite turns, fakes the handoff. He will throw right. Little slam pattern incomplete. In and out of the hands of Kwame Cavill at the 24-yard line. Four wide receivers set. Now trips right as Nunez goes in motion to the right. Major Applewhite, before he can throw it, Jay Humphrey raised up early, and it's going to cost Texas five yards. Prior to the snap, offside on the defense. Five yard penalty. Applewhite out of the shotgun. The only running back is Ricky Williams. Now Nunez goes in motion to the right, setting up three wide receivers to the right. Out of the shotgun, Applewhite throws across the middle. Nice catch by Nunez, and he's got the first down outside the 30 to the 32-yard line. McGarity to the left, Cavill to the right. Looking for McGarity, Applewhite across the middle. It's complete to McGarity outside the 45 of the 46-yard line, where he's got another first down. Cavill wide right, McGarity wide left. The back split, Brown and Williams behind Applewhite. Now early movement by Ricky Brown is going to cost Texas five yards. Snap, false start on the offense. Backs are split wide behind Applewhite. First and 15 from his own 41. 
Going in motion to the right is Ricky Williams. Applewhite looking across the middle. Now he is being chased and he is being sacked back at the 34-yard line. Eric Johnson on the linebacker blitz. Cavill is out wide to the right. McGarity to the left. Applewhite looking to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Deep down the middle looking for McGarity. And the ball is knocked away and almost intercepted. Incomplete. Applewhite out of the shotgun. Here comes the blitz. He steps up, rolls to the right, throws on the run, looking for a man. Brian White, did he catch it in bounds? That's the question. He caught the ball, and they're going to rule him in bounds around the 35-yard line. Well, what a huge play there. Brian White's made two enormous grabs. Major Applewhite on the run, throws it. Brian White comes over, leaps up, and yes, the foot is down. Good call by the officials. I formation, Brown and Williams. Applewhite calling the play at the line. Cavill's the wide receiver to the left, McGarry to the right. Applewhite pitches to Williams, trying to run wide, trying to turn the corner. Mike Brown won't let him do it. He runs him out of bounds, but there is a flag down. Personal foul, grabbing the face mask against Nebraska. It's a 15-yarder, Craig. Brown the fullback, Williams the tailback. 16-13, Nebraska. The bats are now offset behind Applewhite. Long count by Major. Hand off to Williams, looking for a block, has one, gets inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Cavill is out wide. The line of scrimmage is the 9-yard line. Hand off Williams coming left, trying to read his blocks, gets the 5, gets the 4-yard line, maybe the 3. Very, very close to the first down. The ball is just inside the 4-yard line. McGarity to the left, Cavill to the right. Ricky Brown and Ricky Williams in the I formation behind Major Applewhite. Derek Lewis is the tight end of the right-hand side. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. Third down in inches for Texas. Applewhite quarterback sneak, and I think he's got enough. And it is by the length of the football. Cavill goes in motion to the right. Major Applewhite turns, hands it to Williams, trying to run wide, spins to the one-yard line. Kwame Cavill goes in motion to the right. Applewhite gives it to Williams. He is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Now Ricky Williams goes in motion to the left. Applewhite will throw on third down, rolling to the right, looking to the end zone. Being chased, he throws it, and it is caught in the end zone. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Texas. Wayne McGarry with a huge play. Just a little shovel pass as he rolled to the right. Major Applewhite, reminiscent of the two-point conversion to Kwame Cavill last week against Baylor. I had another play on my mind, of course. Roll left in 96, roll right in 98. Major Applewhite going to the right side. Of course, this wasn't the play fake that James Brown executed two years ago. This was just a rollout pass. And as he rolled to the right side, he was looking for McGarity, who was covered up. But give Wayne McGarity credit for managing to get away from Irwin Sweeney to hold on for the go-ahead score. Extra point is on the way by Stockton. It is up. It is good. Stockton is ready. And here's the kick by Chris Stockton. Comes to the near side at the 10-yard line. Walker cuts it left. Outside of the 20, 23 yard line is where he is brought down. Lance Brown slot right. Coming in motion is Davison. Crouch gives it right up the middle. Big room for Buckhalter. Outside the 40, all the way to the 44 yard line. It is not Buckhalter, but Alexander, the big tailback. First and 10 for the Huskers. Going in motion is Cheatham. Hand off Alexander. Anthony Hicks has him in the backfield this time. And they ride into the turf back of the 41 yard line. Davison wide to the left, Wiggins in the slot, double receivers to the right with Jackson in the slot and sheet him out wide. Out of the shotgun, Eric Crouch will throw. Here comes the blitz, he throws left, complete to Wiggins, and he gets out of bounds to the 49-yard line. 2.06 on the clock. Nebraska's got two timeouts left. Third down, looking to throw. Crouch under pressure, throws left, way overthrown. Intended for Davison, Joe Walker there on the coverage from their own 49-yard line. Crouch will throw, here comes the blitz, he throws left, incomplete. And another big play by Anthony Hicks as he hit Eric Krause just as he threw the ball. Texas takes over at the 49-yard line in Nebraska territory with 1.58 to go. Backs are offset. Richard Walton is the Texas quarterback, by the way, and he hands it to Ricky Williams, and he has maybe a yard to the 48, and that's about it. 
and Nebraska will likely spend a time out here, and they do. Richard Walton, the Texas quarterback, hands it to Ricky Williams, running wide. Now he cuts it up. He's at the 45. He's at the 40, and he is brought down at the 38-yard line. He's got the first down, and that's a huge pickup for Texas. Ricky Brown and Ricky Williams hand off Ricky Williams, cuts it upfield, gets to the 35 before he's pushed back where he's got two more yards. And Jay Foreman made the tackle, and Nebraska spends their final timeout with 1.12 to go in the game. Brown and Williams hand off Walton to Williams, trying to run wide. He will be brought down at the 36-yard line by a number of Nebraska Cornhuskers, but he stays in bounds. Richard Walton will take the snap, and he will go to a knee, and that is going to do it. The Texas Longhorns have pulled off another huge upset as they have defeated the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the clock is running down. You can hear the celebration going on down in the field. And Mac Brown, you now have a cornerstone on which to build your program. didn't understand what it meant. The last two teams to beat Nebraska in here, 47 something games ago, both won the national championship. That's how hard it is to win in the stadium, man. And you all did a great job. Give yourself a big hand.
you know, as far as, uh, you know, the last three times Nebraska's gone down, it's been you guys twice and it's been the Aggies. I mean, what does that say? You know, everybody likes to dog the state of Texas college yeah. football in recent mm -hmm. years. What does this say about college football in the state of Texas? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it just, I guess it's saying that we playing good football. Yeah. I mean, basically anybody can get beat, can get mm -hmm. beat on any certain mm -hmm. Saturday. So today we just came out on top. Talk a little bit about, you know, just you've seen on the first three drives, they had the first three third downs, you were, you know, had the, the big play on all three of those, either a sack or a hit or, you know, something. I mean, just, how, how was this day for you? It seemed like every, every time you guys needed it, you were around the ball. I don't know. I mean, it was just one of those days where you just seem like every play is, I mean, that you can just, I came into this game, like Coach always says, visualize making plays. And mm -hmm. I visualized just making plays. Uh, I visualized uh, on certain formations what they might run and how I might defend it and who might come block me. So I don't know, it just one of those, like a zone, I guess you could say. That everything just started to unfold and it was all, I was just there. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was just there. You feel like it's the best ball game you've played personally? We yeah, have one of the best. Play, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, as far as rewarding wise, I guess, you know, since you did, you know, 96, yeah. you didn't get on the field as much. I mean, it's. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is one of, one of the best games I've played. Uh, I feel like I played pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. um, my D line, mm -hmm. I got to, to get a credit to the whole defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I can't really take it all. Yeah. And the D line played good, secondary played good. And um, my other, uh, Dee Dee and Dusty mm -hmm. play good. And it seemed like the ball just always seemed to bounce yeah. to me. Or mm -hmm. we had the right defense, the right blitz, and then I was called on it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel this is a great game. And I feel like you got to play big against big teams. And to come in here and have it nationally televised and to play the way I played, I feel great. How big is this win for you? This win is huge. Um, people doubted us, but we, we believed and came out here and, and played hard the whole game and came up with the victory. Did you worry at all when you fell behind in the second? Game? No, like I said, we believed and we kept playing hard and we kept making plays and defense did a great job of, of stripping the ball and getting us the ball back. How about the offensive line? Did you help you at all? Oh, they did a great job. You know, a couple of times it was third and one and you know the defense confused us a little bit, but we bounced back and opened up holes for me and, and they did a great job. It just, it, I don't even know if they, they're going to classify it as a concussion because it just, it hit, it, when he hit me, he hit me in such a spot. I mean, he hit me right here, you know, right in the face. And it, I, when I got up, I really couldn't see. My eyes were blinking real fast and I, I couldn't see. And that's when Ben Adams came over and he just slapped me on the head and he's like, great. I was like, oh, you know, you know, don't hit me. And he was like, what's the matter? I was like, I can't see. You know, everything was real blurry. And then uh, Dr. Hutchinson, you know, gave me the one finger deal and, you know, he asked me how many fingers I had and I told him the right answer. How long did it take you to realize it was a touchdown pass? As soon as I, I got hit, and I looked around, and everything was kind of blurry and kind of green. And then I, I looked over, and I see Wayne rolling over. And I was like, oh, he dropped it. And then I look, and I see him with the ball in his chest like this. And I see him trying to pop up real quick. And then I see the referee running right up to Wayne and threw his hands up. I was like, you got to be kidding me. He must have made a heck of a catch because I didn't get to see it. Who was it who, was it who offered the radio? He said the radio. Was it uh, Brooke, or was it the train? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Major, this is the second week in a row you guys have put together a long scoring drive to win a ball game. What, how does it describe your offense and the mindset you guys have now? Um, well, I mean, everybody has a lot of confidence in everybody, and that, that means a lot, you know, when when everybody has confidence that everybody will do their job. If you've got 11 people doing their job and not worrying about the other person, you know, then you're able to move the ball down the field. And that's what everybody did. Everybody just kind of looked at each other and they said, you know, I'm going to do my job. I'm not going to worry about you. And I'm going to do my job. And I'm not going to worry about you. And we just moved the ball down the field did the like a machine. Did frustrated all after y'all had a good big first quarter and then they kind of seemed to, to slow you down a little bit, but you hung in? I don't think anybody ever got frustrated. It just, you know, I mean, it, it, we expected this type of game, you know? Uh, you know, Coach Davis told us, he goes, there's going to be mistakes, you know, there's going to be mistakes, there's going to be an interception, there's going to maybe be a fumble, you know, this, that, and the other, but don't don't worry about it, you know, I mean, there's going to be mistakes in this type of ballgame, it's the team that fights the longest, you know, and, and plays the toughest.